Breaker of Chains, Mother of Dragons, Master of Eyebrows. Yeah, I can't do it. Anyway, hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you didn't know about Amelia Clark. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That means we're looking at little known facts and bits of trivia about this Game of Thrones star. All right, let's get to know Amelia Clark. Number 10, she doesn't get recognized by fans. This was more true back when Game of Thrones was just getting started, and a younger Amelia was exclusively known for her role as the Khaleesi. Without that brilliant blonde wig, she could be any gorgeous natural brunette, and it seems that many fans thought the same. In magazine interviews and on a few talk shows, Ms. Clark mentioned that her fellow cast members would receive attention, while she received none when they went out. Except for maybe a fan or two wondering who she was, or to ask for her to take a photo of them. When that elevator doors opened and this woman was just like, Khaleesi, and then the doors closed and then I left, so that was kind of okay. But the lovely Amelia would always laugh it off, and we're pretty sure those fans are kicking themselves now. Number nine, she dated Seth MacFarlane. Where is my boyfriend? While Clark generally keeps her personal life out of the spotlight, she dated funny man Seth MacFarlane between 2012 and 2013. If you'd like to purchase these channels, <laughs> I'll come to your house and install your cable. In 2016, three years after the pair reportedly split, she told Glamour magazine that one of the stresses on the relationship was random fans telling her that they didn't like the fact that she was dating the Family Guy star. This, plus the long-distance nature of their romance, made it difficult to maintain. But with her beautiful face and gorgeous heart, we're sure she won't have any trouble finding love. Where are you now that I need you? I mean, is it too much to say that you're sorry? Number eight, she worked six regular jobs to pay rent. Who has that much time? Well, apparently the Mother of Dragons does. Because it seems before she landed the ultra-famous and ultra-coveted role, the driven Amelia was working her butt off to make ends meet. On top of trying to find time to audition, Clark has had to hold a job at a call center, worked as a bartender, and as a server at a restaurant. While on the set of Terminator Genesis, she reportedly impressed the governator himself with her very strong work ethic. Guess we all know where it comes from now, huh? Yeah, well, I was raised by a machine to kill cyborgs and survive the nuclear apocalypse. I think I'm doing just fine. Thanks. Number seven, she used to be a licensed real estate agent. So what exactly do you want to do with your life? Sorry. What can't this woman do? As we established earlier, in the time before Game of Thrones, Amelia was barely scraping by to pay rent. She'll find something, won't you, Lou? And as a college student, the young Clark also spent time selling real estate. You know, it's hard to imagine her as anything but a famously wonderful actress now, but it seems that while she was making that dream become a reality, she could imagine herself as just about anything. And she clearly did just about everything. No wonder she's such a good actress. I'm, 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 I'm a fast learner, and I'm never ill, and I only live on the, on the other side of the castle, and I, I'm stronger than I look, and I just, I make a mean cup of tea. Number six, she was bullied for her eyebrows. And to think, now they're a thing of beauty to us all. But back when she was a child, the young actress was teased about her bushy eyebrows. Thankfully, her mother told her not to mess with them. In fact, Amelia has stated that her mom only had a few rules growing up. Quote, don't do drugs, don't have sex, and don't touch your eyebrows. Yeah, don't touch them. That was the pet That's talk. exactly what my mother yeah. did. Never plucked like, them. If you ever touch them, they are exactly. your best feature. I was like, yeah, mild nice. bullying at school. Mild. Worth it. Totally worth mild. it. Good thing she listened too, because we think they complete her already gorgeous face just perfectly. Plus, the emotion she puts behind every brow furrow wouldn't be the same without them. Number five, she has tattoos for some of her most iconic roles. Does Amelia Clark have tattoos? I do. I have one here. And I have another one hiding here that's white. If you love something, get a reminder of it inked into your skin, right? Well, at least that seems to be what Amelia Clark thinks. Yes! Having gotten two tattoos for two of her iconic roles, it's evident that this young woman wants to forever remember the good times she had on set. For Me Before You, Clark got the same B tattoo her character had on her pinky finger. This is a B for Me Before You. Um, I got it on that movie because mm. it just had such a wonderful time. For Game of Thrones, she got dragons in flight over her wrist to commemorate her years spent playing the Mother of Dragons. In an interview with Wired, she even joked that she would get a chewy tattoo. Now, we can't help but wonder if she just loves every role she plays. But who wouldn't, honestly? 
and I'm not going to let you know where I'm where I have a chewy tattoo. <laughs> Number four, she speaks multiple languages. Any fan of Game of Thrones knows that Miss Clark can speak Dothraki, as well as a handful of other languages made up by George R. R. Martin and created by David J. Peterson for the show. <laughs> But did you know that her talented tongue can also speak a number of real-life languages as well? On top of being fluent in both American English and British English dialects, she speaks French, German, and Italian, albeit a bit rubbish in her own words. What, what? language can Amelia Clark speak? Really rubbish Italian, really rubbish French, really rubbish German, and really, really great Valerian and Dothraki. Shek Mishirakiani. She can also imitate a variety of accents, including a very convincing Valley Girl character she's brought out for a few interviews. I knew this lady could be such a chameleon. Yeah, I like, it, I don't know, it's because I watched like a lot of American TV when I was growing up that I just like love being California. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, she did the funky chicken dance at her Game of Thrones audition. She actually did more than just the funky chicken at the audition. She did a robot dance as well, simply because the showrunners jokingly said do a dance when she asked them if there was anything else she could do for them at the end. But I did the funky chicken. And I kind of morphed into the robot, and I sort of heard, I heard some <laughs> laughter going on, and I thought, comedy gold, this is brilliant. This clearly showcased that she was quick on her feet, and willing to go with the flow. And we're sure it was endearing as can be. All of this, plus the rest of her audition, obviously made the choice very easy for the show's casting director. I think you may be right. <laughs> well, then I cannot thank you enough. Number two, she's a talented musician. Just when you thought she couldn't get any more brilliant, we find out that this young woman can play the piano, guitar, and flute. Also, she has a rather beautiful singing voice, capable of singing cabaret, jazz, and blues, just to name a few. This talent is put on full display for the world to hear in a 2018 Dolce & Gabbana commercial. Dimi cuando tu virai. Dimi cuando, cuando, cuando. But even before that, in Breakfast at Tiffany's Broadway run, this somewhat hidden talent was briefly showcased for the public for one of the first times in 2013. I made a simple woman. Then, two years later, we got to hear her sing as the Rastafarian Targaryen in the playful Game of Thrones musical. We only hope we can hear more of this voice as time goes on. Call me Daenerys Targaryen when you wanna reach me And if you feel the love then you can call me Khaleesi Number 1. She suffered two brain aneurysms while filming Game of Thrones In March of 2019, Amelia made an Instagram video announcing that she launched a charity. She mentioned that she had experienced something some time ago and that the charity and a related New Yorker article was a response to that. I really... I kept quiet about something that's happened to me uh, for quite a few years and I wrote a piece for The New Yorker and you can find that story and that piece there at The New Yorker. And goodness, were you in for a surprise if you read the piece and went to her charity's webpage? It seems Amelia suffered not just one, but two brain aneurysms while filming the famous HBO show. Because the first operation was about eight hours and then this operation was another five, I think. Um, so I'm in the... The second operation is happening and uh, and they come down and they're like, we, we really, we really don't think she's going to make it. Against one in three odds, she survived both and the corresponding surgeries. I had to put a video up to say thank you. Oh, and that charity? Same you is her way of paying it forward to all the other brain injury and stroke survivors in the world. What a beautiful soul. So you've heard my story and now we would like to hear yours. I would watch an HGTV real estate show hosted by Amelia Clark. I don't know about you. Anyway, let us know if you learned anything in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out these other videos.